Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into some hot topics. Let's go. Clearly, it's just raining babies over here at T.I. and Tiny's house because their son, Damani, has welcomed his first baby, right? So King is having a baby. Now Damani has had a baby. This is probably heaven for Tiny because you know, her daughter has a baby. This is her recreation. I know she lives for this. That's a lot of kids. Let's keep going. Honey, they are making it plain. Super Bowl halftime show producer Jesse Collins confirms that Jay-Z is the one who picks the performances for the Super Bowl. And he says he always picks right. Okay. As fans have said that they were hating on Lil Wayne, he said, we love Wayne, right? There's always Vegas odds on who's going to get to perform it. But I think we're going to do an amazing job with Kendrick, and I think everybody's going to love the halftime show. I'm going to love it regardless. Let's keep going. Y'all, tonight is the night for Dancing with the Stars, Phaedra Park's debuts. Will you be watching is my question. I think we should watch, at least tonight. I know I got a lot of stuff to do, but I think I'm going to watch. There's no football on tonight, right? I think I'm watching. Let me know if you are too. Yeah, what does Simon do for a living? I think, mean, like, for real. Because he is enjoying his life. He's traveling. Hold on. Do y'all know Simon is really over here in Dubai full time? Like, he is over here in Dubai. He said it in a recording. Simon is out, like, all times of the night. Like, in Dubai. And I've seen this on pictures. I think they have like a place you go ski or whatever in Dubai. Only in Dubai. Like this is where Simon is located. What is going on? Portia. Just, was Portia right about the money Simon had? Like Simon got to have a piece of change. So little mama was on this podcast, right? And she started really crying. She said that the world is not forgiving her and Chris Brown. I don't know why she brought Chris Brown up. Like, why did you bring up Chris Brown? I feel like the world is not forgiving her for jumping on stage with Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. Because why did you do that? Chris Brown has gone through what he's gone through. And people have not forgotten about it. But Chris has moved forward and been successful. You, ma'am, on the other hand, has not been successful. Like, you can't put Chris in your stuff. Why did you jump up on that stage with Jay-Z and Alicia Keys? And Beyonce was trying to pull you back. What did you think? You brought this on yourself. And y'all, she was crying real tears. Y'all, I do not watch a lot of Lifetime movies, right? But this Buried Alive, I think it's based on a true story. It's coming on this Saturday, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. It features Tyler from P-Valley and Eva, Marcel. Y'all, it looked like it's going to be really good. I may have to tune in. Honey, Brittany Reiner has, you know, she's changed her life. She's given her life over to Allah, I believe. And she's changed the way she looks. Um, she's in this video talking about she really and truly doesn't know where her next dollar is going to come from. How she's going to take care of her son. But she also says she doesn't want another penny more than she deserves. Let's get into a little bit. Allahu Akbar. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Woo! Wow. Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me. And I trust that this will be no different. I feel like Alice when she ate the cookie and her feet went through the windows and she's crying in the house like that. I've outgrown where I am. Mm. The facade is fading, alhamdulillah. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. Take it away. It serves no purpose here. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. I really hope Brittany finds everything she's looking for. I hope that she is able to take care of herself and her child. But I understand she has gone through a lot. So she's just trying a different avenue. 
because the ones that she was going down clearly they were not working for her so good luck Brittany did y'all hear about that eight-year-old baby that drove herself from home 11 miles to a target y'all she had four hundred dollars and she had gone shopping hold on they said thankfully the baby had made it and she was located by the police she's now home safe not sure what she bought or if she was even able to use her target app to get her five percent off but they let her finish her frappuccino they also said that they made target give her the money back that she spent because she went shopping now i think they're going to do something with the mother because it's like neglect She's eight years old, but she did say she um, knocked over a mailbox. <laughs> Y'all, this dude right here does not stop, right? Trump urges his votes, voters to vote twice. He says submit an absentee ballot and then go and vote in person as well. Don't do that. That is a crime. They will run you down and you will go to jail like he may be going to jail. Don't do that. This this election is coming unhinged and i'm ready for it to be over because there's too much going on let's keep going i'm gonna leave y'all with this have y'all heard of tim horton's coffee like it must be really good coffee when i was looking at this video i noticed that a lot of people were asking if this woman lived in canada because clearly that's where it derived from now, this particular place is in Michigan. So clearly she lives in Michigan. And they said some other places too. But I'm saying all this to say this. When I play this video, I want y'all to have a good day. It's your girl, Millie Chan. I love y'all. Bye. What the fuck makes me think I live a good life? Oh, but bitch, you can't have no coffee. You can be a good bitch and pray to G, but a bitch can't have a cup of coffee. You can have degrees. And you can be a good motherfucker, but you can't have coffee. All you taping this motherfucking shit. I don't give a fuck, because a bitch can't have coffee, live a good life, wash her ass, and she can't have no coffee. Motherfuck. <laughs> so motherfucking man, right the fuck now. And I started to get an extra large. Do you know how much coffee that would have been? You can swim in an extra large. Had my lips all fit for some top Tim Horton. All this shit is on your floor. Motherfuck. Bitch come back from a doctor's appointment, had a good appointment. Bitch gonna live another 15, 20 minutes. But a bitch can't have no coffee, though. That's what a big guy. You can have some life, bitch, but you can't have no coffee. Because what you want to do is take it and spread it all over your daughter's motherfucking house. But won't none get in your lip. <laughs> I'm so fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck, man. Motherfucker. Have I said hello? Shit, I don't even fucking know. Did I say hi? The fuck? Hello. Motherfucker duck. Hello. Hi. This motherfucker. I'm out of breath and shit. Oh. I don't have no coffee.